forward here to Yemen. Now, Yemen is a very, very tight map here with those alleys and corridors, and we're on board with Twiz right off the bat of Team Envious. He is on the North American side, and you see that the North Americans are on offense to kick this off. We will be switching rounds every round now. And let's see Twiz here. He, says he has the Type 95 fully auto right now with the laser sight and reflex attachment. And as we see the breakout for Twiz here, it looks like the North Americans are going to play it a little passive. And it looks like the Europeans draw first blood right there as Ray for the North Americans gets taken out. Minute and 35 now on the clock. We're playing two minute rounds, first to four. And again, we're going to be switching spawns every round. Teams will be rotating offense and defense as we see Gunshi in the feed taking out Merc. And now five alive for the Europeans, three alive for the North Americans. Twiz starting to make some moves here. A couple more players in the kill feed. And now we take a look at picture in picture. We see that Big Timer has the bomb for the North Americans. Him and Twiz are going to be the ones last alive. And you see Twiz picking up a huge kill right there. It was on Raiden. And now they are working together two versus three. It is Twiz and Big Timer left. And let's see what they can do here to make something happen for their side. Being down a man, and that is going to be nice and great position right there. And here's a big gun battle as we see the end of the game there. Nice picking up the kill on Big Timer. And let's take a look at this gun battle in the kill cam. We're going to be able to see as Nice hops off the ledge, picking up some nice hip fire there. But he quickly swaps to his secondary and gets some nice hip fire with that as well. Looks like both players had run out of ammo. So the Europeans are going to take round number one here for a 1-0 lead. And now we will swap sides to the Europeans and see just what they can do as Gunshi has pulled the bomb. We take a look here on the overhead map. And it looks like one player, two players now down for North America. Gunshi now playing this very slowly. So 4v4 situation as the North Americans pick up a couple as well. Ray and not, took out Nice of the Europeans there. Now Gunshi gets the plant down. So that's going to be a crucial, crucial plant. Four versus four. 40 seconds left to go as Gunshi picking up some nice hip fire. Shane taking out Karma. Swanee taking out Ray. It's going to be all up to Big Timer, who picks up another kill. Two kills right there. One with a nade. Can he pick up a third for the three piece? No, he cannot. Looks like he is being aggressive, making some moves right here. Can he get this shot? It looks like Swanee was in a great position, but nice job by Big Timer. He almost pulled that off. Would have been unbelievable. And here you see Swanee coming around for the support here. Big Timer was in a great position behind that bomb in that gun battle he was engaged in, but Swanee making the heads up move and coming around as the Europeans take a two to nothing lead. And now we're on board with the North Americans who do have the bomb on offense and it is in the hands of Ray of Optic Gaming for the North Americans. And now it looks like a nade from Raiden just took out Toby. Ray now taking out Gunshi, Raiden taking out Ray. So some trading going on. The Europeans have the man advantage, five to four. Minute and 30 seconds now. And it seems like there was a sniper shot coming across the board there. Let's see who it is for the Europeans. Looked like it may have been Raiden. Oh no, it's actually Shane with the Ballista Iron Sights here. We'll stay on board with Shane. Shane taking a quick scope right there with that ballista and then try to get another. And he decides better. And it looks like Shane was pushed right there by Merc. So now the North Americans with the man advantage. And we're on board with Quantum now. So it's a 2v1 situation. We'll hop on board with Big Timer, who is now again the last man standing for the North Americans. A big timer on the prowl turns around. Can he get that turn on? He does not. And look at this. What a move by big timer right there to take out nice. But he gets shocked right there at the moment. So now a 1v1 situation. 15 seconds left to go. But there you have it. Quantum takes out big timer from behind. 
as the Europeans take a three to nothing lead. And let's take a look here on the round ending kill cam. You see that Quantum came out hunting for Big Timer and located him pretty quickly, but Big Timer made a great play a second ago. However, the North Americans are going to have to pick it up here as the Europeans are just running away with it. A very similar scenario to what we saw in Search and Destroy yesterday on Aftermath. However, that one went in the favor of the North Americans 4 to nothing, and now the Europeans coming back for a little revenge. And now we'll hop on board with the Europeans once more as Gunsby does have the bomb. Now looks like Toby pushed in and took out Gunshi. Now we'll hop on board with Shane here. Now Shane deciding to rock that interesting class selection we saw him use the other day. He's got the LSAT. It's an LMG. Oh! Runs right into Karma who gets a nice knife off on Shane. And now we're on board with Swanee with the M8A1 reflex sight attachment on that. This is a 5 versus 4 in favor of the North Americans who are just trying to hang on at this moment. But we see Shane... In a, or Sw sorry, Swan even in nice positioning right here. He got some hit markers, just couldn't finish off that kill. As we take a look at the overhead map view, we see Swanee making some moves here. And there he spots a player up top. Oh, almost got taken out right there. Very nice heads up play by Swanee. Knew another North American player was going to decide to rush him right there. Merck making a heads up play, but Swanee was well aware. And now you see Swanee putting some nice shots in again, but Twiz takes him out. And now we see Quantum here, working with his teammates. 30 seconds left. Twiz hopping out at a very bad time. Raiden and Quantum picking up kills there in the feed. Now nice. One player left alive for the North Americans. It's going to be Toby. And Toby, it's going to be up to him. Or else they are going to get 4 0'd here. And there you have it. Nice. In great position to take out Toby as he was trying to wrap around. So the Europeans get some great revenge there. They got 4-0'd yesterday on Aftermath and Search and Destroy. And they repeat the favor here. Or return the favor, excuse me, as they take a 4-0 win here on Yemen.